guys, Mario Jacob Seven Red here, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. And today, in this episode, we are going to be talking about the sync mod made by the modder called I Chun, and it's spelled exactly how it sounds: I Chun. And uh, if you guys have played with the sync mod before, you guys know that it originated for Minecraft 1.7.10. So basically, uh, what they're doing right now, it's uh, still being a worked out. They're still getting all the bugs worked out of it and all that, but they're currently either just uh, porting it over or uh, most likely they're probably just rewriting all the code so it can run on 1.12.2. So, today in this episode, I'm going to show you how the sync mod works. Now, uh, since my version is a debug version, since uh, I found some problems, I will not be putting this in the link. This one's not available for public download yet. You'll just, uh, once the 7.0.3 version comes out, I'll put the link in my description below, so then you guys can go download it. Or you can go on CurseForge, uh, which is where I got the mod from, and you can download it from there once it uh, becomes available. So, anyways, uh, so the sync mod. Now, for any of you guys that haven't heard of it before, basically, it's like it allows me to have more than one of myself. Let me rephrase that. It allows uh, me to... Uh, have another me. I don't know if that makes sense either, right? But let me just show you. So, for the sync mod, what you're gonna have in here is the sync core, which this one it takes a ton of stuff to construct it. So the the sync core itself, the way you build that, you have to have one lapis lazuli block, two daylight sensors, one ender pearl. Two nether cords, two emeralds, and a block of redstone. And that's just to make the core. And you'd have you're gonna have to go around and try to find some. If you're in survival, you're gonna have to go and try to uh, scour up a lot of this uh, materials. Mainly the uh, mainly the emeralds. You'll have to probably wait till you get to the end and defeat the Ender Dragon, or if you find Endermen around in your world. But Anyways, that's just part of it. So, these other items right here. The constructor. The, the shell constructor, uh, which I'll show you guys more about in a second. It comprises of uh, four obsidian in the corners, one redstone, three glass panes, and a sink core. And for the storage, which I'll, I'll tell you a bit more about that one in a second too. That one has a sink core, four obsidian, one, one block of iron, two glass panes and a weighted pressure plate heavy and that's just to make the storage now the treadmills right here this is for the uh, the constructor depending on your settings I'll tell you more about that in a second uh, but to make that you need a daylight sensor two black carpets two obsidian one redstone and one iron bars so you're probably wondering why I'm telling you all these items I'm telling you about all these items for well, for you to get for you to get this to work, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second. So basically, um, depending on how you have your settings set, which uh, if you want to mess with those settings, you go to your options. And this is if you're in game controls, and down here it's in really small text that says "I change detail keybinds." Click here. That'll bring up this screen. So you click on sync gameplay. And for this one, I have both of mine set to zero. By default, the uh, shell construction power requirement, that one's normally at 48,000. But I changed it for zero uh, because I wanted to. Uh, but you could change the settings however you like. And also for this, I might as well want to tell you this. You can actually travel from the nether to the end uh, and vice versa. But there's a little bit of a bug in there right now, which I think they might be working on getting fixed. Because... Uh, Whenever I teleport from the nether to the end, or vice versa, some of the uh, surroundings around me doesn't load that well, so I just have to, I don't have to exit on Minecraft, I just have to save and quit the world, and then reopen the world again, and it'll work. I don't know why it does it, but, uh, yeah. And then, so there's that screen. So yeah, basically, the shell storage. This is how you can teleport to the nether or the end, and if you have another one of these storages, yeah, in in that location, and 
to power it up, it'll use any sort of redstone power. For me, I'm using a lever, so actually I'll just put it up. So whenever I have it on, or before I have it off, it, you'll notice that it's uh, not working, so it'll be red. Once you give it power, it'll turn green, and you can teleport to another uh, location. Now the constructor right here, this is how you can build your other body. Let me delete that thing. And for this, I know it's not going to work probably just a second, but I want to at least uh, show it off to you. So basically, you put a treadmill, you have to face away from it, and then place down a treadmill, and then you, the default animal that a lot of people choose for this mod is a pig, but you can use whatever animal you want. And then they'll run on this, which will basically construct your Minecraft body on here. It'll start off as like a white, uh, white layout body and then once it's all done then it'll start putting your minecraft skin over it and then once it's all done you can teleport to it and make another instance of yourself so oh and whenever you, even if you're in creative the treadmills they'll uh, they, well they won't just get destroyed you'll have to pick it up so enough about that anyways let's put this down and show you how it works so I get in here now the default button is the right mouse click. I think they might change it because I was talking to somebody at the top of the mod it. But basically, I uh, fix this. So basically, you have to right click to select, uh, which I couldn't figure that out first. And I'll explain why I have one in the Nether in a minute. But basically, this is what it'll do. What a teleporting! And voila! I now have another. Minecraft instance that I'm playing with and I think that's pretty cool and also now this does override the keep uh, keep inventory uh, game role that you have even if you're in creative so if you decide to kill yourself in creative and you have keep inventory on or if you're in survival and you have keep inventory on like let me give myself some items like this for instance if I have all these then I do Slash game rule. Well, I should have just typed it in. This is going to take a while. Okay, so keep inventory true. Now, if I go to slash game mode survival and I do this to kill myself. I mean, now, there is a plus and minus to this. It's a plus because you can override death and having to respawn in your last location. You can just move to another instance that you have already made. So, like, I'll probably re return to this one, the closest one. Um, if I didn't have one in this world, it would default me to my next the one. But you have to have a body in, in a storage or a constructor ready to be used in case you die. So, that's the good part. The bad part is, you'll lose all your items like this. I have items in my hotbar right now. I'll do slash kill. I dissolve. Then I get moved over here to my body. Now, see, I don't have the same items because they dropped out. And... I don't get to keep them. Uh, I haven't tried this out yet, but maybe if we turn it to false and then you die, maybe you can go back to that location and get those items. It's a possibility, but uh, that's something that I'll leave you guys to try out. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Oh yeah, I need to showcase you uh, teleporting. Now, like I said, it's kind of glitchy going from the end to the nether and vice versa, so I'm just going to go from the overworld to the nether and vice versa. I don't think I have one in the end. No, dang it. I forgot to put one in the end. Um, I'll just show you this one for right now. I'll leave the other one as a surprise to you. So, I'm leaving my body right here from the overworld. It's teleporting me to the nether. So, now see, I don't have another portal. It's because I destroyed it. Uh, also, this is my second time recording this video. Because my microphone was not working for some reason, it glitched in OBS. So yeah, um, that's the other reason. So yeah, like this, it makes it a little bit easier for you to be able to teleport. Like if there's, if I wanted to go over there, say like if there was ground and I had this over there and I wanted to get some more glowstone, whatever I wanted to, I could have it right there, teleport to it, and grab some. So yeah, it makes it, it almost makes it really efficient, and I'm glad they were able to bring this mod back. So let's go back to the overworld. Um, I'm trying to remember, there was something I added in the last video because I forgot to tell you. Oh no, I forgot to showcase to you the 
into the nether in the previous recording. Um, what else? The... I don't know. Just in general, this mod is pretty fun. Uh, you can go and check it out on iChun. Just search iChun or Sync Mod on Google. It'll pull it up. It'll pull up results for the Curse Forge, uh, where you can find the mod. Uh, or it'll bring his website. But he doesn't... He said on his website he does not update it often, so I would suggest going to Curse Forge. Because that is the most recent Sync Mod on there. So, anyways, guys, I think... That is it for this mod review episode. And if you aren't already, guys, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And after that, click that bell icon. That will let you know when I upload a new video. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because that lets me know you like these mod review videos and that I should do more. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Bye bye.